So, you've probably heard of an IUD before. Maybe from your doctor, a friend, or a late-night internet spiral about birth control options. But what actually is an IUD? How does it work? And why do some people swear by it while others are unsure? Whether you're considering getting one, just curious about how they function, or you're trying to understand it better for someone you care about, this video is here to break it all down in a way that's clear, honest, and easy to follow. Let's break it down, right here on History of Simple Things. An IUD, or intrauterine device, is a small T-shaped piece of plastic that gets inserted into the uterus to prevent pregnancy. It's about the size of a paperclip, but don't let its size fool you. It's incredibly effective. There are two main types, hormonal IUDs and copper IUDs. They work a little differently, but both aim to do the same thing. Stop sperm from fertilizing an egg. Once it's placed inside the uterus, it can work for 3 to 12 years, depending on the type. But despite how long it lasts, it's not permanent. You can have it removed at any time if you change your mind or want to try for pregnancy. The idea of putting something inside your uterus might sound intimidating, and that's completely valid. But the process is pretty quick, usually just a few minutes. A healthcare provider uses a special tool to guide the IUD through the cervix and into the uterus. You might feel some cramping, pressure, or discomfort, especially if you haven't had kids. But for most people, it's manageable and over before you know it. Once it's in place, you can't feel it. The only sign it's there is a small string that hangs down through the cervix into the vagina. That string is there so a doctor can remove it later when it's time to take it out. Hormonal IUDs, like Marina, Kylina, Laletta, and Skyla, release a small amount of progestin, which is a synthetic version of the hormone progesterone. This hormone works in a few ways. It thickens the cervical mucus, making it difficult for sperm to swim through and reach an egg. It also thins the lining of the uterus, which makes it less likely for a fertilized egg to successfully implant. And in some people, it can even stop ovulation entirely, meaning no egg is released in the first place. It's a layered system of protection that makes it incredibly effective. Copper IUDs like Paragard take a different approach. They don't use hormones at all. Instead, the copper itself acts as a natural spermicide. Sperm can't survive in the copper-rich environment, so they die before they have a chance to fertilize anything. As an added bonus, copper IUDs start working right away and can last up to 12 years. Here's the jaw-dropping part. IUDs are more than 99% effective at preventing pregnancy. That makes them one of the most reliable birth control options available, right up there with sterilization, but without the permanence. The reason they're so effective is because they don't rely on you to remember anything. No daily pill, no monthly ring, no shot every few weeks. Once it's in, it just works. And if you do decide you want to get pregnant, just have it removed and your fertility returns pretty quickly, usually within a month or two. Like any medical treatment, IUDs aren't perfect for everyone. Some people experience side effects, especially in the first few months. With hormonal IUDs, you might see lighter periods or they might stop altogether. That can be a blessing for some, but alarming for others if they're not expecting it. On the flip side, others may get spotting or irregular bleeding as their body adjusts. Copper IUDs tend to make periods heavier and cramps worse, especially in the beginning. But for those who want to avoid hormones completely, that trade-off might be worth it. There's also the rare chance that the IUD could move out of place or even be expelled from the uterus. It doesn't happen often, but it's something to keep in mind. That's why follow-up appointments are important.
Removing an IUD is a simple process. A healthcare provider gently pulls on the string and the device slides out. That's it. No surgery, no anesthesia, and no downtime. You can have it taken out anytime, whether it's been a year or a decade. And once it's out, if you're not using another form of birth control, you could get pregnant right away. Believe it or not, some people use IUDs not just for birth control, but to help with medical conditions. Hormonal IUDs are sometimes prescribed to treat heavy periods, endometriosis, and chronic pelvic pain. Because they reduce bleeding and inflammation, they can offer relief for a lot of people dealing with those issues. So even if pregnancy prevention isn't your main goal, the IUD might still be worth considering. The IUD isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, but it's a solid option for many people looking for something low-maintenance and highly effective. It's long-lasting, reversible, and requires very little day-to-day -day attention, which can be a huge relief if you're someone who doesn't want to think about birth control all the time. That said, choosing any form of contraception is deeply personal, and it's okay to take your time exploring what feels right. Some people love the convenience of an IUD, while others might prioritize different factors like hormonal sensitivity, menstrual changes, or how quickly they might want to conceive in the future. And remember, choosing birth control doesn't have to be a permanent commitment. You're allowed to try something, change your mind, and adjust as your needs evolve. So that's the lowdown on IUDs, how they work, what types exist, and why more and more people are choosing them as a long-term, low-maintenance form of birth control. They're small, powerful, and incredibly effective. But like any birth control method, they're not a one-size-fits-all solution, and that's okay. At the end of the day, the best contraceptive is the one that fits your body, your lifestyle, and your comfort level. Maybe that's an IUD, or maybe it's something completely different. What matters most is that you feel informed, confident, and in control of your reproductive choices. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.